Good morning, I'm very excited. I've just filmed my office tour because <laughs> my shutters are in, as you know, and they look bloody beautiful. Uh, the kids are at playgroup, summer scheme, whatever the hell you like to call it. I'm sure we used to call it YMCA when I was younger. I may well have invented that. Um, today's a homey day, so I've done the office tour. I've got to go for physiotherapy later. Those who are new to the channel, would you like a story time about how I hurt my back? Because I say I twerked, and then people go, lol, twerked. But like, it's a true, actual story. <laughs> it's just so tragic. So, the plan is, work, 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 work. Then I never work, 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 work. Then I got some boxes to open. And then it's gonna be a woman who can open two big boxes and try and get new car seats in her car. So that'll be interesting. And then you can come along. I'm hoping that today might be my last physiotherapy appointment because I think it's got to the point with the damage with my leg, so my right leg's damaged, um, that I, I don't think it's gonna get any better, which is like, not a massive, huge deal, um, because it's better than being in a wheelchair. Uh, but maybe I'll talk about that a bit later on. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work, and I think I might put a bit of makeup on, so Gareth, my physiotherapist, doesn't like vomit on my face. He's so nice. I sit down and he's like, and how are you? Expecting me to go, well, my leg, this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, well, I'm treating me like an actual therapist, not just a physiotherapist. So that's the plan. Stam. That's the crack, Jack. I'm delirious. Also, I'm very excited because I've got a meetup. I remember the meetup for like for mums, um, or yeah, like for mums and babies and things like that. And the tickets went because the tickets are free because I organise them for free events so people, mums can get to chat with each other and hang out because sometimes being a mum's super lonely. Um, and the tickets went within an hour. If you're interested in coming to the meet, so I will leave a link in my description box. Um, we, there was talk of maybe doing one in North Hants, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. So let me know in the comments if that's nearer to you. Um, so you sign up for like the mailing list and then when the tickets go live they come straight to your post box I mean inbox and you get to um get a ticket and then if there's any left after that they go out to all my other followers so uh you're not going to get loads and loads of newsletters from me because quite frankly I haven't got time to write them. I tried to and then I just couldn't. So it'll just be specifically for, for the meetups. I'm talking a lot, I've got to work, goodbye. Done some work, just had a good phone call with my sister and we were howling with laughter at Sarah from um, uh, Big Brother, just howling. She's so funny. I think this will go tomorrow, which is Friday. So leave in the comments now, because we won't know the winner, who you want to win Big Brother if you're watching Big Brother. I am not adverse to Gemma winning, controversially. I know she's not the greatest human being, but you know, she says it as it is. So she's got bowels. Bowls. I don't know why I keep repeating the word bowls. I'm gonna have my lunch, and then I've still not opened the boxes over there. Over there. So I've gotta have lunch, because I've gotta put those car seats in, because the kids, and look, you're here. Oh, because the kids really want them. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to open a box. Where can I put you? Where can I put you? Where can I put you with? I'm uh, opening my back hugs. I don't know why I'm saying it, but I'm Lucy looks terrified. I'm gonna put the knife down. <laughs> so, Corsato. Corsato? Corsato. Message me, email me. They didn't message me because they don't have my phone number because they don't. They emailed me and said, we'd like to send you two car seats. And I was like, I don't really get sent very much stuff. So I was like, hell to the year. So they've sent me the skipper fix, one for Ayres, one for Eve. They're my children. So let's get this box out. I'm excited. Let me 
can show you. I'm opening. It's a box. Oh! Let me pull this beauty out. Such a big box. That's the bag. We don't have a bag. Oh my gosh, it's a big bugger. That's as it is. So this should last her until she's 12. I'll show you a little bit better. Oh. Oh. Thanks. So Erin's is a unicorn one. This lasts till she's 12 and it makes me lol that my tween will be sat on a unicorn. But unicorns are like trendy, isn't it? So let's give a fix. And then Ethan's got ones. Over here, his will have I chose cars for him. So thanks guys. I'm gonna try and work out how to put these in my car now. That's my plan. Put the car seats in and it made me discover one thing about my car that I didn't know. It is a disgusting mess. Oh jeez Louise. If you're a mum or you're still travelling your car with your mum, this cars are so grubby aren't they like when you're young you buy cars like you probably enjoy and now it's just like a raisin filled pit so i removed the kids old car it's destinator so macho he's gotta be so macho um that's a sinita song if you didn't know uh it's filthy so i'm now gonna put some washing on and go to my physiotherapy I'm off to physiotherapy, there's the car seats. How snazzy do they look? The children are very happy. Um, yeah, I'm off to physiotherapy. I'll leave you in the car. I'm hoping that it might be my last session. So we will see. Wish me luck, even though we're in the past, but have good thoughts and that might change the past. Now you're in the future, I'm in the past. Anyway, I'm gonna go to physiotherapy now because I'm just talking crap. I've been discharged from the hospital. Um, I've been thinking I'm going to be discharged from the hospital the past like three months. I kept going in, going, I'm going to be discharged. I know exactly what I'm going to put on Instagram. I'm going to do it. And then I come out and be like, mm, no, I'm still not discharged. But today he's just like, yeah, we don't need to see you anymore. But if you need to phone us, you can phone us. So thanks very much to the Orthopaedic Hospital in Birmingham. You are superstars. I'm sorry that I wore a skirt today, which is not appropriate for physiotherapy. And I also didn't wear makeup. I just, I'm sorry that it looks such a mess. I should have gone in a ball gown and with a full face of makeup and waved everybody off, but I didn't. Time to get the kids. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of airing going on. I picked up the kids, they had a lovely day. They made me some um, biscuits with icing on, which I happily wolfed it down. I'm still doing a bit of work. I need some time off. I'm going to try and get as much done as possible. Um, it's bank holiday weekend, so next week I can just enjoy the last week with the kids and then start afresh in September. I've had an exciting email today to go meet Emma Winter. I mean, to be honest, if we've ever pitched together, I'm not entirely sure you will know which Emma is which. You'll be like, is that Bunton? Or is that Brummy? Oh my good, when Brummy met Bunton. There's an Instagram post there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, a high five if you want to subscribe. I think I'm going to go and do a come shop with you tomorrow with my sister. And then office tours filmed. And then a few vlogs because vloggers finish next week. I can't believe it's gone so quick. Right, I'm off. I work, 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 work. The minimum work, 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 work.